Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of War Thunder. Um, as you can see here we've got a rather unusual plane, the HE-51B2. Um, B2H, sorry. Uh, I've talked about it before, um, some of my previous episodes, or, where um, basically I showed it was in the game but it wasn't available, it was only available as an AI controlled aircraft for some reason, but um, as part of a two year celebration, Gaijin have given you the possibility of unlocking this aircraft. If you get something like five kills between November 1st and 3rd, you get one of five aircraft. Um, TB3, XF, IFF, LAG, um, well one of the LAGs, uh, the HE-51B2 or the DB7. I already had the TB3 3 and the XF, IFF, so you know, I didn't get them obviously, um, and I got the HE-51B2. Um, now, looking at the stats card, um, these can be misleading sometimes, but for basic comparisons, they should be okay. It's um, quite a bit slower than, well, it's 8 miles per hour slower than the C1L. Um, yeah, it's f slower than all of the HE-51s. Um, slightly, only a little bit slower than the 51A1, but about 8 miles per hour slower than the B1 and C1s, um, which is understandable because it's got giant floats underneath. Now, armament, as far as I'm aware, pretty much the same as the other aircraft. It can carry up to um, 10, 6, 10 kilogram bombs, sorry. Um, not an awful lot, um, you know, in kilograms, but can be okay in the reserve battles. Now, I've done a test flight of this, um, and, well, two things. One, the test flight appears to be in Norway, so they have got a place for you to test flight this. Um, maybe this is a you know, sign of other float planes being considered for Germany. And um, the other thing to notice is that it has no cockpit view, um, which is kind of odd because um, if we go to the C1, you know, they seem to do have extremely similar cockpits or practically the same cockpits um, if you compare them. Um, so I don't know why they haven't added cockpit view for them. But we're going to quickly take it out for a quick um, arcade battle. Uh, just repair. I, I did take this out a minute ago um, just to give it a quick um, try. I was actually trying to record this episode but I got shot down you know ridiculously quick, quick so I decided you know I'm just going to redo it again. Um, we're on ground strike Stalingrad which is good. Last one I was on was Spain and uh, that's more of a dogfight in that. Um, you know the ground forces get ignored a lot. Now one thing to remember there may be you know higher tier aircraft or higher battle rating. Um, I only realised this when I tried to do the last match but um, I, I don't know why it used to be if you had all biplanes you would just have like reserve matches but um, since the battle rating introduction you know we're getting I, I had a DT SBD3 um, lags um, you know that sort of stuff which um, you know you don't expect in a reserve match um, or not very often but like or in small numbers so far it seems like we're the only one the hydroplane, so that's all good. If we need to, we can set down in the rivers. Now, as far as I'm aware, very few of these aircraft are actually built. Um, I think only some like 40 to 50. Uh, they were initially, um, I believe they started off on the A, like, basing this on the A version, but, you know, then they moved on to the B version after only a few were made, because, you know, they weren't making the A version anymore. These are sort of like conversions, if I'm correct. I don't think these were ever used in combat. I haven't found any, you know, mentions of it. Just dropping our 10 kilogram bombs because yeah, they've taken like six minutes to reload, so we might as well get rid of them and, you know, so we can, look, you know, get, have less weight carried around, but while saving ammunition on our machine guns. Now, like I was saying, very few of these are made, not really used in combat, and they're not that good at uh, um, dogfighting. Um, well, worse than most fire planes, anyway. And the reason for that seems to be, well, quite obviously, because of the huge floats we're lagging, um, dragging around. Obviously, you know, the wheels are not very heavy, and they're sort of nearer to the fuselage. These are, I think these are all metal, and they you know, which probably makes it weigh a lot, and they're sticking out quite a lot, which I'm guessing is going to create a lot of drag. Um, now, we've managed to lose them both, and seem to be a little bit more, more manoeuvrable. See if we can get this Ki-10. 
Right, come on. Yeah, we've done some damage to him. God, looks weird around the floats. Looks like we're just carrying a weird triangle below us. Obviously we're not going to be landing this thing anymore. I want to get at least one kill with this. Got a crit. Right. I would try and give more information on the aircraft itself, but there really isn't much more to say about it. And now oh, we're damned. And we survived though. Um, but yeah, there isn't an awful lot to say about it. Um, I wanted to get a video about it. Um, you know, because it's a unique aircraft. No, we're just going to quit the match. Um, well, I'll pause it and then I'll quickly you know, finish the match and then get back to you because I don't want to let down the rest of the team. Oh, hello everyone. Um, back from the match um, that I just did. But you can see I managed to get four kills in the end. So, I sort of sta I'll stand by my previous comments about the HE, you know, the B2 hydroplane not being very good at dogfighting. I mean, I managed to get another three kills in one plane and kill in another before the match ended. So... What are my um, feelings on this aircraft? Um, honestly, I think it's not that good. Um, <laughs> it's a it's a nice aircraft, and I've wanted it to be in the game. But uh, you know, as an actual purchasable aircraft, not as a gift, um, it kind of feels like a bit of a gimmick at the moment. Um, it's you know, it's got the same armament as the other HE fifty ones. But it hasn't got the speed, uh, hasn't got the manoeuvrability. The only advantage it has is a float, um, which is rather useless. I mean, it's, if you manage to knock them off in a dogfight without getting the rest of your aircraft damage, um, you know, it's good. Um, and it gives you an extra aircraft in the tier ones. Um, so good there as well. But really, it's not something I would you know, rely on, I will take it out in reserve battles simply because it gives me an extra aircraft, but even then it's probably a bit, but you know, not so good because I've got a premium CR-42, you know, I could take that out. Um, same battle rating, better machine guns, better speed and probably better turning ability. When I get my extra crew slot, I'll probably have all of them, but I think I'll probably, I'll probably stick the CR-42 in its place really. Not an aircraft I'm actually going to be using that often. Um, but anyway, um, thank you for watching this video. I um, hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you like, liked it, leave a like. Leave feedback, because I always do with feedback. Um, subscribe if you like these sorts of videos. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.